You know, I was going to come out of the ark, uh, but I, I thought against it. Shabbat Shalom. It is so meaningful for me to be here today at the URJ Biennial, my first, to learn, study, pray, and celebrate with the most amazing lay leaders, teens, Jewish professionals, and clergy we have in our movement. This evening, we have the opportunity, as 5,000 strong, to welcome Shabbat, a time where we look back at the week that was, our successes, our failures, our joy, and a time to rest from our work. So with this self-reflection, Shabbat asks us the question, where are we and where do we want to be? Where are we in our lives, in our work, in our communities? The biblical version of this spiritual question comes with the, the Hebrew word ayeka, which translates as, where are you? In Genesis 3, 9, God asks this of Adam after he and Eve have eaten from the tree of knowledge. God is not asking where they are physically. God is really asking Adam to examine the choices he has made. This comes up multiple times in the Torah, this question of ayeka, and it acts as our spiritual barometer of sorts. Not only asking where we are physically, but where we are spiritually in our connection to God. Jews today still have this question, this test. Today, Shabbat and our practice of it is our Ayeka moment. Each week on this day of reflection, again, we repeat this question, where are we and where do we want to be? I want to tell you about my personal response to this idea of a Shabbat Ayeka. Shabbat for me is a special experience, like for many of us, because of the URJ camps and Nifty. Being a part of Nifty, I know the feeling of togetherness that Shabbat can bring. We all know that we, can, we are barely able to sit still on the bus rides to events, waiting to run, greet, and basically tackle our best friends. Throughout the year, Niftyites are separated in our different cities. And then on Shabbat, we come together. We pray together. We learn together. And we make our closest connections together, all on Shabbat. We sometimes don't realize this, but this is what Shabbat means to Niftyites. Everything. At Nifty, at Nifty, we respond to Shabbat's Ayeka with a resounding voice that brings us together emotionally and physically. However, the issue arises for me and my contemporaries when we eventually leave our immersive times in Nifty and at camp. In a spiritual sense, it's the feeling that after we leave these places and these environments, we lose and feel lost in our connection to Shabbat. Granted, we cannot replicate exactly those intensive communities in our home congregations, yet we want to connect to Shabbat, but we find this to be a struggle. This does not only have to do with the instruments used or the tunes used during the service. It's about defining the Shabbat experience. It's about why we are praying, not how we are praying, not just how we are praying. Why are we doing this? Why do we even pray? We are always exploring this why in Nifty, always discovering our Judaism. And we want this to continue in meaningful ways in our home congregations. This is where my peers and I need your partnership. We need to respond to Shabbat's Ayeka for the future of this movement, but we cannot do this alone. It centers around synagogue members building relationships with teens in their community find common ground and common goals and create a true, true partnership. 
Start a dialogue in your congregation about how these vital relationships can be created and fostered. This will assist in creating the sense of community and connection that we so desperately crave away from Nifty and Camp. You, you all out there, have the ability to bring Shabbat more into our lives by doing so. And if we can succeed in this, we will be able to welcome the next generation successfully into Jewish adulthood. It is so, it is so incredible for thousands of us to be so celebrating Shabbat here in Orlando together. He knew, here we are as one movement. This is the ultimate Ayeka moment. We are examining where we are as reformed Jews, where we are innovating, where we are succeeding, and truly examining the question of where do we want to be. I am so inspired, so inspired by the hard and meaningful work done here at the Biennial. I am inspired by the sense of partnership I have already felt between teens and adults during my time in Nifty, and I am inspired because I know it will continue to grow in the future. In order to fully embrace Shabbat and all that Reform Judaism has to offer, we need to do it together. Shabbat Shalom.